in a world where humans ride chickens. Uh, those things are called chocobos and they are big deal in Final Fantasy lore. Castles just up and disappear. You see the castle is a high-tech vehicle that has a mechanism that allows it to submerge in sand. And perverts always get the girl. He was actually kidnapping Maria who he thought was the woman that he loved. Can you like stop interrupting me? I'm trying to do a bit here. Okay, sorry. All right, all right. as I was saying, in a world of chocobos, high-tech castles, and love stories, a team of misfits and wanderers and vagabonds and rebels finally infiltrates the Emperor's Magitech facility in an effort to save some supernatural beings. They will face mechanical enemies, adversity, and they will face David Bowie for some reason. And now, the Orlando Gamer presents the next installment of Final Fantasy VI. That was perfect. Thanks. Hi, everybody, and welcome. As I said in the intro, we are going into the Magitech facility. Um, as you can see from the beginning, we are blocked by the Imperial soldiers. Fortunately, we run into our good friend Gandalf, who, Gandalf the Blue, I guess, who is going to make a scene and show off some dance moves as he tries to create a distraction for us to get in. So uh, we quickly jump on his distraction, hop some crates, hop over the steel beams, and then in a move that is reminiscent of the Star Wars Stormtroopers, these guys get pretty duped and next thing you know we are in and we are ready to go and go after our esper friends all right, so y'all know i'm playing this blind as well so maybe we're going two steps in i'm sure this is going to age me but i swear to god i cannot help but think of Nine Inch Nails and Trenton Reznor when I hear this industrial type music and it's yet another great uh, <laughs> track on the soundtrack. Man, so, um, yeah, let's Son go. Of a bitch. As I've said before, you're gonna notice some jump cuts and just kind of like really inconsistency sometimes and that's, that's just a matter of trying to save time. Um, on this video, so uh, I did play through the whole thing, uh, but I did skip a, a big part of it Just to kind of move it move it along. It was about 15 minutes and not much happened. So um, Yeah, that, that's when you're gonna see the jump cuts and right now We're actually approaching a pretty pretty big moment in the in the uh, scene. So I'll kind of let, let it all play out here Man, this guy is such a clown, and I love him so much for it. Uh, Kafka comes back again, of course, and now we are uh, getting closer to actually meeting him head on. Five, the warring triad. Oh, snap. I gotta say, it's pretty sad for this young lady, Shiva, who was first rejected by Smurf Society, and now is being cast into a pit. And who knows what else, what other kinds of uh, things she's gonna have to suffer before it's all said and done. But I know one thing, she does help me out in the future, so maybe she's finally found her calling. Oh, I feel, oh wait, I have to follow them, don't I? Look at that, before the story starts kind of opening up. Oh yeah, that's where I was before, and I wouldn't take a letter. All right, it's time. I feel like a lot of extra music coming out in this, this level. Hey guys, how you doing? Can we talk about what's happening to society? I think uh, you know we should all team together and and maybe you know take on the empire, but together. And whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Don't. What are you doing? Oh come on, for crying out loud! All right, let's do this. Hey everybody and welcome to today's main event. On the one side you have 
ridiculously powerful elementals, Shiva and Ifrit. On the other side, you have a four-person band of scoundrels and bandits, and it's the Returners. So let's get off with round one. Go! Hi, everybody, and welcome to the first ever Returners versus Elemental battle. And we are have a good one here today, even though it's a four-on-two battle. But let's see how this thing works out. Oh, and some mistakes being made on the right side. And Ifrit just takes advantage, and this does not look good, Jim. Yeah, they really opened the door for the Elementals here, and the Elementals are taking advantage. Look at that. He's blasting away, and it looks like Marco is just leaving, and that, that's not a good idea. And Gao just keeps doing what is not working, and that's not a good long-term strategy. I just don't know what, what they're thinking. And at least, at least you have this woman here healing away. And oh, Marco comes down with a zero, and now Ifrit leaves and tags into tag team. It's a tag team event. I didn't realize that. And once again, you just have these people not understanding what's not working. They have to find a new strategy. Otherwise, they're just going to get their butts kicked as they are so far. Marco again jumping out. Uh, Stella seems to be the only one who who's, has her wits about her. But um, yeah, right now it seems to be a one-sided battle. And here comes Marco with a big zero. And then that's going to be a waste of a turn. But, uh, but Shiva and Shiva's being smart. She tags back in, tags with Ifrit back in. Who again just kind of abuses this this team, and it looks like a one-way one-way battle so far. And I don't know how much longer this team can can resist. Well, it's a good thing they notice the resistance, right? I mean, that's got to be helpful. And again, awkward breath, zero points. This is not happening. I don't know why they keep trying it, but uh, we're gonna kind of see here. And and uh, it doesn't look like Ifrit or Shiva are getting major damage on. So that's a good thing for the returners. And oh, oh no, here comes Blizzard. That's a big, oh, that's a big shot. Lazaro's coming. Shiva just kind of unloading the weapons while she's almost dying. So it's a matter of just keeping these people uh, as damaged as possible. And oh, the three-way, a triple shot. That was a good one for the returners. And then Marco comes down just with a big old zero. And Shiva, again, just unloading her weapons and just kind of emptying her gas tank as she's running out of energy here and again wow we've got blizzard blizzard bizarre blizzard bizarre and now but now now the returners seem to be learning and marco trying to steal something for some reason and it looks like the returns are learning how to attack us and now it's a matter of trying to implement that against ifrit as he will also follow shiva's lead and just go as, as crazy as possible on his his spells And finally, it looks like Marco's contributing. There you go, curing. It took a while, but he finally found his, his, his role to just relax and just not try to steal, not try to jump, and not try to attack. Just cure people and, and just kind of sit back and watch the rest of the team do what they do. The Wilding, however, seems to not have taken that example, and he continues to do his aqua breath. Which is not a good thing. It's he's literally done it like ten times for a total of zero, zero damage. And here comes Shiva tagging in again, and she's been super powerful, but she's got to be running out of gas. She's got to be running out of gas. They've been really come, been really attacking her. And there's a huge one from the Wildling, and he, she gets him back right away. And we're looking at she's got to be running out of energy here. This has to be the last few minutes of her being alive because every attack it seems to be uh, hitting pretty good and, and now she got Celis on her knees but but uh, fortunately Marco is still doing the cure thing and staying out of the way and the wilding goes for a big fat zero um, so uh, this is looking like the returners are getting control of the fight a little bit Ifrit is going to probably fall here shortly as the, the team seems to be really good at um, curing, attacking, curing, attacking. So it's been a valiant uh, uh, battle between for Ifrit and Shiva. They fought valiantly, but they have to be running out of energy. These four still remain near their perfect, uh, perfect hit points. So they are clearly dominating this battle. I, I, I feel like it's going to take a couple more hits, and, and we're going to be at a devastating blow for Shiva and Ifrit. And there's Gao missing a shot. Uh, the Wilding kind of thrown off his name. I mean, Wilding's shots not really hitting anything. So 
We're just watching, we're just waiting for the one moment and when when these two fall. It looks like it's gonna happen very shortly, and here we go. Shiva starts a conversation. Ifrit comes together. They're impressed by Ramu's power. It looks like the returners are going to win this battle, and thank you for joining us in our big heavyweight title match. Hmm. Let's see that Ramu So after that epic battle with the elementals that are now on our team, it's time to make our way up to what's going to become one of the biggest moments of this clip uh, when it comes to actually contributing to the story. Just going to have to take care of a few pesky, pesky enemies first and then we'll be on our way. For no running, and just miss it on accident. Let's just thunder the crap out of them. Move on, that's gonna work, right? Let's <coughs> just steal stuff. <laughs> Why can't you steal? <laughs> So here is the moment you have all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the one and only Ziggy Stardust, David Bowie. Let's go kick his Ziggy Stardust ass. Here 
story time, everybody. Sit back and relax. Just let this thing play out, cause boy, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good one. I don't think we fight anymore. Not gonna lie, I, I live in Orlando, as you know by my name, and that looks like a ride that they have at the Science Center where you get into a tube and just go pretty much parachuting. <laughs> About, of course, they're gonna die, so that's that's kind of mean to say. But anyway. Wish to help us, but we haven't long to live. We will follow Ifrit's example. For power, we entrust to you. Yeah. What are you doing over there? Nice, nice raincoat, pal. Don't let me fight you, boy. What are those? Twists and the turn in the 1990s and oh shit! Excellent work, Sid. Excellent, Diablo. Oh, Kafka, come on, are you really going to threaten us with these two guys? We just killed and beat the crap out of David Bowie, so I don't think we're scared right now. What is happening? Maybe then you'll believe me. What are you doing? Stop! Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me. If you made it this far, thanks for doing that. And you deserve a cookie. So go get yourself a cookie. I give you permission. In the meantime, also, I'm going to get going. Um, next time on this, we're going to start with a really cool thing that really uh, accelerated the technology use 
It was a minecart chase using technology of the Super Nintendo. So uh, anyway, happy gaming and hope everyone has a great day.